Uh, we had two massive games last night. We just finished talking about Warriors Pelicans. And as you can tell by Jalen, who is demonstrating, we're about to run the floor in the East as well, where the Cavs trailed the entire game. The entire game till they tied it up late and won in overtime. They got big games from two bench players, specifically Tristan Thompson, who, you know, has been struggling for the last month or so. Uh, gave them great <laughs> minutes last night, led the team in scoring These in overtime, beats. and helped slow down Mr. Valanchunas, who had been killing the Cavs on the inside. Um, Jalen, is there anything you want to say to the people? Anybody that felt like LeBron James carried too much of a burden against the Indiana Pacers, that will not be the case in this series. Look like That's it. That's evidence by game one. I told you so! And by the way, let me do something that a lot of people don't do. Give props to Tyron Lue. Because remember in the previous game, we were like, oh, he started Tristan. This yep, game, yep, he brought yep. him off the bench. All right, now we got some uh, Lowry here. LeBron guarding him, essentially erasing the dude. Those guys are being paid. They are Toronto's stars. What is happening to them right now? And what do you do to get them into game two ready? DeMar DeRozan, he didn't make a three-point shot, and he didn't have high-volume free-throw attempts. That's when he's at his best. Kyle Lowry did a really good job of distributing the basketball. He had 10 dimes, but he didn't have a notable performance from three. But I'm looking at OG Ananabi and okay. Serge Ibaka. They were pedestrian up front. Neither were able to make it in double figure scoring. They have to make LeBron James and J.R. Smith work. They combined mm -mm. for four rebounds. That's unacceptable. That's not good. Um, and let's go back to LeBron for one second. He you mentioned it earlier, the, the shooting night for him wasn't great, one of eight from three, but doesn't matter. He still finished with a triple double. He had 26, 11, and 13. This team was supposed to be tired. LeBron himself said he was burnt. You get a win like this on the road in Toronto, how much does that destroy the confidence of the Raptors? As somebody that's lived in Toronto, it really devastates their team and their fan base. They're going to still be enthusiastic about the game. But when the best player in the league comes and he's dominant versus your squad, they all wear the same suits, and then he gets to go hang out with Drake, what a time to be alive. Think he still hung out with Drake? Of course. I, that's the enemy. They won. By the way, they wore the suits post-game. I think that was, a new, that was a new twist. They're two and two with you the suits. You hate the suits. Oh, I don't love the suits. You have a telestration, for, like a telestration I for do. Telestration. And I'm going to take everybody deeper into the box score. So we look at the final result, and we like, man, the Raptors lost. How did it happen? <laughs> They were playing good basketball. Look at this. The whole time. They have the ball. They're on a fast break. And Kyle Lowry, their point guard, let's see what kind of decision he's going to make here. So as we get into the front court, I'm going to stop it. Now, Kyle Lowry, while he's an all-star guard, he's not the fastest. He's not the most explosive. And right now, uh -oh. he's not making the best decision. George Hill does a great job of playing without fouling walling him off. LeBron James understands he's on the left side. He may have to jump off with the right leg. I can make a play on this. So now Kyle Lowry realized, uh-oh, I'm stuck. So what does he do? He turned the basketball mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. now, watch this. now watch LeBron James assess the floor. This guy is a wizard with the basketball. Look at, now look at this. LeBron James on a break. All of a sudden, boom, boom. He surveys the field. And in football, they call this passing people open. Watch this. Mm -hmm. He's going to feed J.R. Smith. And all he had to do is catch and bang, bang. And then look at Brian down low. Bug on the windshield. Van Vliet, <laughs> get off me, dog. I don't play those games. Van Vliet tried, Get though. off me, dog. He tried. I ain't trying to play those games. Van Vliet wanted And then now it's an NBA. Huh, hold me back. No, I think Van Vliet was ready. Yeah, Van Vliet was ready, <laughs> and he thought about the situation. <laughs> Probably not. And he wasn't team. as ready. No. When he realized it was LeBron James, <laughs> and he's 6'8", 260 pounds. It just looked unfair if you're watching it. Yeah, it's an unfair fight, no doubt about it. It's an unfair fight, and we had a few of them, and that just means we're in the playoffs, and it's getting <laughs> chippy, ladies and gentlemen.